very windy today. Storm Malik has hit the UK. It's bad up north. Not so bad down south, but still very windy. So not great drone weather. At the moment, it's about 35 miles an hour wind, gusting up to about 50 miles an hour, I think. Down here, anyway, in Wiltshire. So, I thought we'd do something different. Rather than stay indoors, we could always make use of the wind and do a Mini 2 speed test. I mean, what can go wrong? I use dronehacks.com to hack my drone, allowing me to access the advanced parameters and change the, the tripod mode to attitude mode. And what that does, it removes GPS positioning for my flight, which essentially allows me to travel faster. Uh, if you let go of the stick normally, it will come to a halt, but uh, uh, in attitude mode, it will just carry on. Well, I'm just arriving at Fusey Downs car park. I can hear the wind. I can feel it driving. I'm not sure if this is the best of ideas. Obviously, if you do plan on doing this, you do so at your own risk. Uh, I take no responsibility. Right, things are starting to get a little bit windy now. Right, I don't know if you can hear me. I can't. I'm at the summit of Adam's Grave, which is 285 metres tall. test taken off and it can't hold position even with GPS on so normal mode sport mode it's not having it it's drifting so I was planning to head out into the wind really low something like 50 foot off the ground but I can't get out that way so I'll have to do it from here the problem with that is it's a one-way trip which means I can send it but it's not coming back which means I'll have to land it wherever I can and then go and find it wish me luck not the best of uh, tests I think I saw it happened so fast I think I saw it get up to 60 odd mile an hour so I had to ditch it on the side of that nap hill up there um, just behind me which is where I'm heading now so I've checked on the on the map and I can see don't know if you can see it I've got a clue where to go. It's like the Annika Rice Challenge. Right, getting pretty close. 
be here somewhere. Getting close. Ah, what's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, has it lost the leg? Oh no, it's folded back. Ah! Yep, she's sheared off. When it came down, it must have landed on the front leg, which flicked it back into the back leg. And just, don't know if you can see that. Let's turn it around. Well, fortunately, these legs are a couple of quid on eBay. So I'll just swap that out when I get home. Oh, that's all the damage there is. Gimbal's looking good. No warnings, looking good. Okay, so it's just um, replace one leg. That's it. Um, now to see air data and what we actually got. So it's a week later now and I've uh, after last weekend um, I went back and uh, glued the arm back on fortunately it was a clean break so uh, it stood the test of time because I've flown probably around 30 miles with the with the drone um, since um, since the mishap but uh, yeah, it's it's rock solid. Now, in the meantime, I have got a replacement uh, Mini 2 arm, and that's come through. I'm keeping that in the kit bag, just in case. But today, it is windy again. So I feel like we didn't conclude um, the endurance test for the Mini 2 on how, how well it copes with um, wind and how well it performs um, regarding speed. So I'm heading back out to Barbary Castle today, uh, which is the highest point in the borough of Swindon. And we'll see what it can do. I'm at uh, Broad Hinton, which is about three kilometers uh, west of Barbary Castle. And you might be able to see in the background three clumps of trees. I've got to aim for the left one, which is kind of just behind the end of this, this tree here. Okay, all or nothing.
So I wasn't really um, satisfied with that test, um, so I've come up to Hackpen Hill, which I almost flew across during that flight. I'll uh, spin the camera around and show you if you can just about see down there. You can see a racetrack. Um, I was just behind the set of trees behind that racetrack, uh, Broad Hinton. Uh, so I've gained about 60 meters in elevation and the wind direction is over there. I've got some grass, so I'll give it a go from up here for the extra altitude. Who knows? I did manage to get 63.8 miles per hour out of that last test and I suppose the drone did come home, barely, 5% battery left, but no damage. So that's a plus. Faster and back in one piece. Third time lucky? Who knows? Let's give it another go. Drone back again, middle of a farmer's field, I think. Hey ho, now back in the wagon. Um, I blame McSteamy on this one, Steve. It's your fault, right? I only got um 60 and a bit miles an hour out of the Mini 2 from Hackbent Hill. Uh, managed to ditch it in another farmer's field. Um, and recover it and now I've just come across the brow to Barbary Castle uh, Barbary Castle up there in the background I'm hoping this is the fourth attempt uh, it'll be okay it's not looking amazing so I've reached the top of Barbary Castle now and sure enough, it's very windy. So the, I landed the drone just in front of the car park east of Barbary Castle in a field. 
Uh, I lost uh, connection just as I was going down because there's a slight brow of the hill in between. So it's connected again once I'm started walking towards it and I can see it safely landed. Just gotta locate it now. Yeah, I just saw the blue dot jump. Come on. Ah, I see it. Not sure if you can. That's a good thing about those master air screw props. Day glow orange, very handy for finding your drone. And, and once again, no visible damage. I say once again, uh, apart from last weekend. No, well, and still battery. Two bars, lovely. These speed tests I'm doing, it doesn't actually include my first one. Back on December the 30th, I did try out Atti mode for the very first time at this very location. Back then, instead of the wind coming from a westerly direction, it was coming from a southwesterly direction over there. So I took it up and I edged my way probably, I don't know, a couple of hundred feet is all I can manage um, into the wind and then I rose up to 400 feet, flicked it into Atti mode and let a rip with the wind into that direction and it went like stink. Uh, I, you know, it, it surprised the heck out of me being my first ever speed test and that is when I reached the speed of 72.1 miles per hour with the DJI Mini 2. Unfortunately, because of the wind, I could not get it back home. No matter how much I struggled, that little cluster of trees down there it's, it, it's basically I turned around it was fighting and strafing left and right but it wouldn't make a foot back towards me so I had no option but to ditch it in that field just to the right of it fortunately that field is full of cauliflower plants um, no actual cauliflowers but um, the plants are there and that gave it a nice soft landing uh, it got down to 3% battery and that was that. I then ran back down the hill, got into my car, you can see where it is down there, and then drove round and there's a little track just out of sight below uh, this fortification which helped me traverse along to the edge of that field and then I used the DJI Fly app to locate the drone. So the drone's safe in my pocket in one piece. That super glue's holding up well. Fair dues. If, it, if the drone can hold itself together in this wind at this speed, glued together with super glue, it says something for super glue. But that's not the test. So that last run from Barbary Castle was the fastest today. Oh god, that wind. 64.6 .6 miles an hour. Which is still not my fastest. Which is 72.1. So, what's that now? Uh, seven and a half miles an hour slower than my record. But still, it shows you exactly what Atti mode on the Mini 2 with a decent amount of wind can do. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. 
and like the video turn on that bell notification as well that way the next time one of my vids comes out you'll be notified right i'm out of batteries and the controller's down to one bar so i'm going to call it a day players